Today, we're taking our van Popple through the Canadian prairies to Saskatchewan on a mission. The 11th sibling in my family, Hava, is turning 13, and as per often tradition, my family is throwing her a bat mitzvah to celebrate this milestone, and they've asked me, the performer in the family, to do a stand-up comedy set for her party. Only problem? Worst case scenario is... I've never done stand-up before, and now I risk letting Hava down. <laughs> It's my first morning here back at Becca's farm. Oh, for an early morning jog. Here, Saskatchewan Prairie. Just look at those fields. Gotta tell you, Rebecca has 11 siblings. There are also a ton of like nieces and nephews. I can't even keep track of all the new babies here. There's like, every time I come back, there's more children running around. I did not grow up like around babies. The whole childcare department for me is a little bit outside of my comfort zone. You wanna go see Uncle Joel? Do you wanna, you wanna, wanna go see Uncle first? Joel? Uncle Joel loves babies. He's so tiny too. Ah. I need my wine. I can't be funny without it. Oh my god. I feel like wine has been like a very big part of every bad mitzvah. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Do they not know how we roll? How I roll? Just smuggle it in. I'll call it grape juice. I'll pour it into a grape juice bottle. They disrespected my culture when they asked me to stand up without any alcohol. Listen, I'll come up with the ideas. All I need you there for is ripping, okay? So I know that we'll be we'll be okay. Okay, well that's good. Okay. Usually Laura and I can really riff off of each other, so I, I think we could I think we'll do a fine job. She's funny. I don't think she's as funny as me. Do you need help with the eggs? Huh? Do you need help collecting eggs? Yeah, can you take Joel with you? Jill needs okay. to learn how to collect eggs. He has to learn how to be a farm boy. Wait, why? Because he's not one. So here's the thing. Daddy has asked Laura and I to lead a comedy set because we're the funniest ones. Actually, we're the coolest ones. But we can't come up with a set without a little bit of wine. So intoxicate me first and then we'll be funny. Okay. That's true. Yeah. There might be chicken vanilla on them. Ew! See, that's the fossil that Anna found in the phosphate. The common places that they are at is here. Yeah. Uh, over there. Okay, let's see if I can find one. <laughs> oh, a whole bunch over here. Look at that. This is Kit Kat. Hey Kit Kat. And the orange one is Cody. Cody. Hey. Here's my idea. It's a bad mitzvah. It's all about Becoming growing up. Just gonna have all our friends there, right? Yeah. Let's figure out the opening. I'm trying to think what I can do at this moment to make it less like, like to ma make it more comedic. Well, my friends, have you ever been to an Ogden feast? Well, let me tell you, it is something not to be missed. So I got tasked with prepping the fish fillets. Oh, I'm oh supposed to stand here and not eat these brownies. So we conquered the fish. Did it. Did it. Look at this pile of fish. <laughs> here it is, the fish fry. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you have to explain what a bad is to the yeah. non people. Be like. So traditionally, this is when you become a woman, that means you can have sex. So we felt like this that is would a PG like... room, and we don't think we can talk about that. <laughs> Even though clearly we're very good at it. I mean, well, Laura, well, she's got evidence <laughs> that she knows how to do it. I mean, okay, so we're not talking about sex. We're up here to talk about... Um... I think everybody's like so awkward, though. <laughs> Okay, we're adding that. We are here harvesting some wild apples from the wild apple orchard. 
Oh. He's trying to steal your apple. What's up, Oscar? How's the apple? Is it good? Hard, it's hard. Glow up comes first. Oh, oh no, we got a reference. We'll be like, so did you get that glow up? Don't worry, it's coming for you. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, that's so good. No, but I'm in the zone of actually, wait, we're actually getting somewhere, and we have now to Now my mind this. is all on thing. Yeah, I don't, we, I don't even care talk, about your face. Now we can't even <laughs> talk about funny anymore, so can you please not interrupt <laughs> us? Yeah. Fine, I'll leave. I'll just leave. You have to, like, tell us if this is good or not. Hi, we're known as the older generation. I mean, somebody thought it was a good idea to put us up here <laughs> to welcome Hava into adulthood. Is that new? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. part of the renovation. How you turn the chair around is really cool. And I survived. Yeah, I'm not it, it, It's better if you go faster and you'll be go slow. Yeah, that's more prone yes. to us. You want to oh. call it? <laughs> Beauty is pain, my love. What? How? Uh-huh. Okay. Great. We'll do fine. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, baby, how are you feeling about your set? There's definitely an energy that Laura and I already have just together. So, like, a, a what do you call it? Charisma. Worst case scenario is that Daddy's church ends up turning on him because we said the word sex. And, um, yeah. Didn't realize it was gonna be right in a actual like church sanctuary. There are just some words that I think are disrespectful, perhaps, to say that are in our little in our little script thing. So I think we could just change it a little bit to make the illusion. Yeah, on the spot. Yeah, just to make sure that nothing's offended. When my wife and I got together, Matt and I, we. Uh... We were like anybody else, and we, you know, we just thought, well, we'll have a couple kids, and that's fine. And then one day, uh, my wife said, I, I really feel like God is telling us to uh, just trust Him with birth control. And uh, I'm like, you're crazy. That's the most insane thing I've ever heard. And then God spoke to me pretty much the same thing. And uh, so from that moment, we took it as a personal conviction, not a blanket conviction everybody's got to do. You know, we trust him. And of course, Amanda was like, oh, well, he won't give me any more than I can handle. Two or three kids, that's all I'll get, right? And, and God had other plans. And so here we are here, and this is number 11 of the mitzvahs that we've had since then. So I'm going to go and ask the girls, the sisters, um, that have gone through the mitzvahs to come on up here. So Alba, ever since you were little, you have always impressed me. As you get older, guess what? We get younger. <laughs> right now, we seem so old. And I think our relationships as sisters, as we grow up, is the most important relationship in your life. Ever since I was a little kid, I wanted to be understood. No matter how hard I tried, I always felt like I was misunderstood by everyone. <laughs> yeah. so true. <laughs> So then I tried writing books, like who hasn't, but like, that didn't work out for me either because I was four. I not even a single person understood the first or second word in that book. I thought that if I stopped talking, the whole world would understand me. I thought I was so smart, but like my four-year-old brain was, had the same amount of brain cells as a door, except the door could open up. So how it's your time to come and join us, so come on over. Made it, huh? Epic. Okay. <laughs>
worry, it's coming for you, honey. <laughs> Papa wants to be like you, Becca, okay? She doesn't want to be like me. She doesn't want to be a mom. She wants to be a woman with a career. Yeah. But like a real one. No. Uh -huh. like, <laughs> <laughs> Just because I'm a woman does not mean I do not have a real career. I mean, I have to work three different job titles. And guess what? None of it takes me. And now, I leave you in the van, okay? And I don't have the money to afford a big house with AC and three bathrooms. Okay, okay. <laughs> Everyone said that was hilarious. So there you go. I didn't have to worry. I still have it. I can be funny. I will say this. I am so impressed by Chava. I think she could be a comedian. Her speech was hilarious. And that was her first time she ever wrote one. Oh my God. Wow, their van doesn't compare nothing to this one. Yeah, Bobby, which van is better? What's the name of this one again? Popple. Popple. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell for live updates on Becca and Joel's Bad Life.